My question is for Sam. Um, I just moved to LA last month, and uh, I want to do what you do someday. And I was hoping if you had any little gold nuggets of uh, information or advice for someone on the ground floor, I'd love to hear them. My advice to a young filmmaker is to make a movie every week in Super 8 or high def, write every night, and every weekend shoot for two days and work with actors, work with a little 1,000 watt lighting kit, set it up, set up your shots, get a tripod, shoot a little scene, work with the actors, cut those scenes together, and then the next weekend have worked on it with sound and looping and put some music to it. It can all be done for nothing nowadays with the computer and get a response, and get a response from the audience and see where it's slow and where it doesn't work and where your ideas weren't being communicated properly. Learn from that experience sitting in with the crowd, and then go out and make another picture the next weekend, and just keep doing it. Make films, no matter what anybody says, and you'll be a filmmaker. Yeah, if you get, if you get, the, passion, if you get the passion to do it, and you do it, and it doesn't like work out, I, I worked for, got three years on a 16 millimeter film that ended up becoming nothing but guitar picks. And, uh, and I was very disappointed when I realized it wasn't any good, but it was my film school, all right? And I actually got away really cheap. When it was all over, I knew how to make a movie. And I didn't want to show anybody that, but I had the experience. I had a lot cheaper than I would have gone if I'd gone to film school. That's the other, uh, <laughs> do it in Spanish and subtitle it and they'll think it's an art film. That's the other uh, advice. That uh, worked for me. As, as exploitation as it could get, but I remember when it played at Telluride, was, all these old people come out of the Telluride Film Festival and they're like, it was like an opera. <laughs> the first thing you gotta learn is listen. Learn to listen, but learn to say no. And when you say no, mean it. Mean it. Don't say no and then just back off because then And I, I don't mean, I don't mean as a technical term, which is, is a great word. I mean it in the existential term, you know? So, you know, don't back off because you have the chance. It's like, it's like quitting. What, what can a director on his first movie do? Quit. But if you quit, quit. You think it's still possible for an upcoming filmmaker to go the route you guys went and still be successful? That's a good question. Uh, Make Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough one. Actually, tough, no, I'm not, even being as, I'm not even being a smart ass. That was a f***ing kick-ass movie, all right? You make a goddamn kick-ass movie, and you can take it all over the f***ing planet Earth. Not America, not f***ing Los Angeles, not New York, the planet f***ing Earth. And everyone will know it. But there is a lot more competition than there was when I was, you know, like, kicking around with El Mariachi. So you got, you know, there's just a lot more to do these days. You got a lot more competition because everybody's got a camera now and everybody can edit and it's it's just it's tough i don't know with the state of independent filmmaking changes there's yeah, like but you know, changes. but at the same time though yeah there's a lot more to competition but also those crappy movies aren't competition if the thing is like fucking dynamite there you, go, you sure. know all that well. shit is you know yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there doing stuff but if you know it's like waves on the beach all right you make some, you make a piece of nitro that you throw in an audience's lap you know, they'll people notice <laughs>